So um, it's not pleasant. At the same time, I'm fortunate enough that I'm nowhere as affected as uh, our poor patients and colleagues who were and have been in intensive care. And of course, um, um, sort of thoughts and prayers go to the colleagues and friends we have lost. Uh, having said that, I recognized that I was not well and I had a swab done by uh, one of our colleagues on the 3rd of uh, April. Uh, and then between 3rd of April uh, and that particular weekend, I went really downhill. So then I got a call from <clears throat> our colleague who did swab me on the Sunday, which was uh, amazingly generous of her to say that uh, I was found to be positive. Uh, and then I experienced the biphasic nature of the illness and initially got better. And I thought, great, I've cracked it. Um, and then when I went downhill again, then um, I realized it wasn't a walk in the park. So initially I sort of had the temperature and the uh, rigors and, um, and then within 48 hours I thought, mm, this is okay, I, I've, uh, I think I've beaten it and then I was almost looking forward to coming back to work. Um, and then I was waiting for 48 hours of being free from a temperature and then I started noticing a temperature again. That's the biphasic part that people talk about, but uh, I, I again stress that compared to a lot of people, I've had it um, unpleasantly, but not as bad as some of the others we know. Oh, the impact was uh, being stuck at home. Uh, being unwell, I've uh, technically, well, not technically, it's a fact that I've never been off work for this amount of time ever in my working career. Um, and apart from not being able to leave your home, um, looking out through a window and clapping for the NHS and carers on a Thursday, I was literally a prisoner at home and for a while when I was really unwell, prisoner on my bed. So, and that's not pleasant, but thankfully uh, I have two girls and they remained well. Um, I have a wife who got COVID before I did um, and she was uh, incredibly strong and she went back to work. Uh, so um, it sort of had an impact on me and my family, but I think uh, I'm here. So I'm, I'm delighted to be back. I think it was uh, still quite sort of a, a challenging experience because um, I do get still quite tired pretty quickly. Um, and uh, I'm just about, I mean, I, I was actively on the wards this morning. It was quite pleasant to be back in the wards. All through the time when you're away, you actually keep thinking about your colleagues who are uh, on the shop floor and doing the work, what you want to do. Um, and also we have some responsibility for services that we lead and you want to keep involved. And so that's what we have done. Uh, but it's great to be back. I think the message is that we are one family and we sort of are trying to look out for each other. Uh, I've got um, juniors as well as colleagues who are currently unwell and um, actively keeping in contact with them just like they did with me uh, and just to see whether there's anything we can do for them and for the ones that do go downhill, try and help them. That's all we can do. I mean, I think there are positives. Um, yeah, at the same time, you cannot uh, help think of people who we have uh, lost. Um, and the, the significant mortality that we see um, through the press releases every day. Um, having said that, um, as we know, most people are getting better. And as I, I keep stressing that I'm lucky that it didn't affect me as much as um, the more vulnerable people have been affected. So I think the, the, the positive is that there is a light at the end of the tunnel now. Um, and as um, we work as a clinician, as we work as anybody in the NHS and also working leading on particular services, we have responsibilities looking at the recovery phase. So I think there's a lot to do and uh, 
I'm delighted to be back.